Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. We're going to go through my March completed pages. At the start a slight little disclaimer that I have not that many. I've been away from home in March for a little bit and no, I didn't take my books, colouring books and supplies with me. So I had way less of colouring time in March. I'm hoping that April will be a little bit better. But yeah, let's have a look. Let me move the books a little bit. And let's start maybe with a very quick mandala. I started this book, which I was gifted um, a few months back. Um, those are reverse mandalas. And I did this one, the very first one, actually. It was quite quick to do. I've done a little bit of embellishment. I'm not sure if it will show in the middle, kind of in the in the middle maybe so that was like a green glitter gel pen that is slightly reflective so yeah so i've done one in this one i've done two pages in astro kawaii by kevin tia art actually i feel like i might be able to complete this book by the end of the year because it's only like 12 um, images of course there are doubles but you know if I complete 12 I will count this book as completed so yeah I've done Aries which is just I love her despondent face it's just so cute I found those images hilarious very very cute so yeah, I've done this one and I also done Pisces. I used a little bit of um, gold watercolor on her. And the rest is based in um, alcohol markers and there is a little bit of, well, quite a bit of <laughs> pencil on top of that. And here is the same, based with um, alcohol markers and then shaded with pencil and the background in here i'm not sure if that's showing but it's iridescent um, soft pastel and there is a little bit of gold ink that i put on the horns yeah love this book so yeah so this one i also have done two pages in magic garden by coco Wayo. i just kind of picked one Kokowayo book that I wanted to work in and I've done two pages so I've done this one which is this lovely fairy and again the same thing is um, alcohol markers and then pencil on top I usually use my I've got a 72 Artex set pencil set that I usually use for like Kokowayo books and stuff to shade on top just want to kind of finish them and there is a little bit of um, spectrum noir glitter on her wings really like this one and then I also done this page with the hilarious frogs and that was lots of pentacolor I really like this one as well um, as well, yeah, same thing, um, based in alcohol markers and pencil on top, apart from the water, which I think is also soft pastel, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember because I don't really write what I'm using, I'm terrible in that, but I think it's, it's, it's soft pastel. Yeah, and that was my next contribution to Color for Pirates um, hashtag on Instagram, which is animals doing people things. Yeah, really like this book. It's a beautiful book. And then I finally done my first page in my astrology book that was gifted to me by Pixie. Thank you, Pixie, again. And I've done Pisces. And I really, really like how that came out. Um, I put some um, 
iridescent watercolor on the fish a little bit so i'm hoping that you can see yeah you can see that yeah i like the color palette on that i took it from um i think from the month previous months of the amanda colors um palette uh, color palette challenge from the what you call it the magic cube or whatever color cube color cube magic cube what i'm talking about color cube yeah the previous month i really like this one so i took some inspiration from from uh from that one for this page and i really am happy with how that turned out yeah it's a very good book as well and then i've done another page in zodiac witches by deborah miller that's i think my second page in here and i went all purple on her um yeah so there she is all purple sorry let me just adjust the camera slightly yeah so yeah and again i'm so happy with how she turned out i'm really really pleased with with that um I was a little bit worried that kind of purple background will kind of blend too much with uh, with her hair, but actually it, it, it doesn't. I, I really like the almost monochromatic effect that it did. Obviously it's not monochromatic because it has the yellows and oranges, but, um, but yeah, I'm really happy how she turned out. Really like her. Lovely illustrations as well, uh, illustration as well. So yeah, I really like this book too. And then I done my very first image in Teresa Goodrich, um, Nom Sweet Nom. That was slightly scary. <laughs> it's a very busy page. I did the same. I did the cover image, but again because I was kind of on a purple kick, um, I went for a lot of purple in it with some blues and yellows and greens. And again, really happy with how that turned out. There's a tiny bit of silver gel pen on butterflies. But other than that, there is not really any embellishments. Um, just just those little zentangly things on the butterflies oh, and on her um, on her hat. But um, really happy with how it turned out. But oh my gosh, it took me ages. It probably shouldn't take me that long. But um, I had a kind of break in the middle because I've done about half of it. And then I went away for like over a week. And when I came back, I found it hard to come back to that and finish. But once I kind of started, it just then went quick um, but i'm really happy really happy with how that turned out it's a beautiful book but gosh it's busy but yeah very cool i'm glad i've got something done in it really happy and my very very last um finished page is in mythographic cosmic spirit and it's this one it's the wheel of fortune and can you see the theme here it's purple again there's a lot of purple in here this one i based in graffiti and then went with different kind of pencils on top and also with i mean some things are done just in pencil like all this kind of antique gold stuff that's just pencil and i went with the gold watercolor paint um also on top of the or some of the things and i'm really happy i really wanted limited color palette and very very muted and again was slightly worried that it all kind of it's too close together as in colorways too close together and going to kind of blend into each other too much but actually it's fine and i really like how that turned out um it's got to be one of my favorite pages so so yeah happy happy with it and i think yeah that's all for march like i said work got in a way and i was yeah didn't have uh, too much time to color i am definitely planning to color way more in april i think i hope i will have more time 
so um yeah looking forward to that and i hope you like some of the pages and um, yeah and that you enjoyed the video and i will see you soon bye <music>